It's official, our States Against Humanity tournament has begun. This is day number one. I've already posted a video on the playoff matchup between Iowa and South Carolina. Please vote, there's 48 hours to do so. But today, right now, we're gonna talk about Mississippi, which I know had a lot of people in an uproar that Mississippi was a number four seed, and I have to agree. I think they may have been underseeded here, or overseeded. It depends how you're playing along at home. Mainly due to headlines like this where a 12-year-old was forced to carry a baby to term after she'd been raped because there was confusion over the state's very strict abortion ban. After it was determined that the little girl was pregnant, she told her mom that she'd been essayed by a family member and they reported the incident to the police, which should have allowed her to have gotten an abortion on the exception clause, through the exception clause. But here's the problem. Doctors and in hospitals don't want to perform these procedures because they're unclear about the legality of it. Mississippi is one of the 14 states that has ceased all of their abortion services post the Roe v. Wade overturning. And in fact, only four abortions were performed in 2023. Only four qualified as exceptions to the abortion ban. That is compared with the 3,800 that were performed in 2021. Imagine how many other little girls had to sit in front of doctors who had no idea what was even going on with their body and had no choices to make decisions over that body for their medical care. Many ask, why didn't the mom just take her somewhere else? I wanna remind you where Mississippi is located. It is landlocked around all of these other states that have just as restrictive abortion bans. Mom had other children. Mom had other financial responsibilities. Mom couldn't take off work to drive and also couldn't afford to pay for an abortion. This is why we talk about these abortion bans as being especially classist and racist because they disproportionately affect these types of people. The politicians who knock up their mistresses, they can still afford to get abortion procedures. They can find a way. It's, it's these people who are really hurt. And while the police did use the DNA to ultimately catch and charge the rapist, I'm going to say that a 13-year-old being the mother to an eight-month-old is just absolutely by far one of the worst things I've seen on this timeline. This has been Casey reporting on the number four seed from The Handmaid Tale's Revenge in our States Against Humanity tournament. Stay tuned today for more coverage.